morning or afternoon. Body dysmorphia is thinking I look better in a really big oversized shirt than anything else. Um, I'm gonna do my hair because today we're doing the reveal of what Arlo Mars is. And so I thought I would make today's video kind of that. And it's going to be vlog style. I hope you're excited. I'm going to throw up. I feel like I haven't actually styled my hair for real in like two weeks. I'm going to curl my hair. It's probably going to be boring for you to watch, so I will just skip through and come back to tell you about Arlo Mars. Okay, the time has come to reveal Arlo Mars and what it is and kind of talk you through the whole process of it all because it's been in the works for about over a year now and I've talked about it on TikTok, I've talked about it on Instagram, I've mentioned it here on YouTube, but I feel like I just need to go into details. That's what today's video is. I'm going to show you everything that we have so far. I might pass out or throw up we'll see okay so the elephant in the room what is Arlo Mars it is a clothing line Arlo Mars is a clothing line it's going to be so cool it's different I've worked really hard on it with an amazing team this is actually something my mom and I are doing together so Arlo Mars is like my dog just turned on the TV <laughs> Arlo Mars is a brand that my mom and I are doing together which has been really fun for us to get to do together. From the beginning, it started out as it was gonna be more of like a smaller clothing line. We didn't really know what we were gonna do with it yet, but as I started like investing in it and planning it out and kind of like creating my vision of what I wanted it to be, it changed into what it's become today. So it's been a little over a year in the making and it's taken us just about a year to get it to the place where it is. So I'm gonna start off by showing you our first collection and then I'll talk more about each piece. So <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Okay, so our first collection, we're calling it the Untethered Collection and it's actually a two-parter. So we're launching the first part um, tomorrow and the next part will be released later on and the first part is like the main part of the collection. The second part is just another piece. How do I even do this? I don't, how do people film these videos? It's so awkward and I don't know how to like talk about these things. Our first collection is a very cozy, perfect thing for end of summer, early fall. And you're gonna see why right now. I'm gonna start with the main item, which is our Sunday pant. This one's already packaged up, ready to go. Don't worry though, this is not plastic. We did not use, we did not skimp on any of the packaging. I spent months researching packaging, trying to make sure I was doing the best that I could do with what I could afford. The clothes will all be coming wrapped in these hydropol bags. So this bag actually dissolves in water and you could actually put it in water if you wanna like test it out. and. Mix it around in some hot water, it's gonna dissolve. It also dissolves in fresh water or salt water. It leaves no microplastics behind. It's biodegradable, non-toxic, and carbon negative. I'm gonna be going all over the place because I don't know how to do these videos with like being articulate and cool about it because I don't feel cool right now. The packaging was really important to us and we originally had some really cool like frosted bags in mind. Those are just really expensive when you're just starting out. Um, they're a great option as well. I feel like this is a better option from my research on how it impacts the planet and things like that. So I decided to go with these. I didn't do custom branding because again, that's super expensive and I didn't want to be wasteful. Um, so I just went with the regular schmegular ones that you can just buy. The bags we were gonna use that were frosted were really cool too, but they, like I said, just not exactly worth it for us right now. Okay, here is the Sunday pant. You've probably seen me wear these because honestly, these are the only thing that fit me right now. <laughs> and I wear them, I'm not kidding, every day. I've kept two pairs for myself from the very beginning and I wear them almost every single day. So these are the Sunday pant. These sweatpants have our logo printed on them. 
they're like a very lightweight i wish i could i wish you could feel this through the camera they're very light they're not heavy they don't feel bulky on you they feel so cozy it's the most comfortable sweatpant i've ever worn in my whole life and i'm not just saying that because this is like my brand i'm weird with sweatpants they have to be like soft they have to be light like i don't want something that feels too heavy or too like bulky and full of like fabric like that is not what i want in a sweatpant i want something cozy that i can move around in that's not constricting and that's what we have here so let me show you more about these these are a vintage black but they almost have a little bit of a navy tint to them a blue black vintage kind of thing and we did do some special washes on these to get the fabric even softer than it was in the beginning we have our little tag in here and of course our little custom drawstring that we did that's a nod to like having a shoelace as a drawstring obviously these are a lot thicker which i love and these are custom dyed our off-white color so the back has one pocket right here perfect for putting your phone in there's also side pockets on both sides one of my favorite things about these little pants is the bottoms and this was actually my mom's idea so she wanted the sweatpants to not have the elastic in the bottom so what her and i did is once we got these they were already done and she was like no i don't like the elastic in these and i put them on i'm like yeah you're right i'm kind of tired of elastic too it's annoying so her and i took out the elastic in a pair and we were like yeah this is exactly what we want and i love how you can tell that we took the elastic out it's such a like grungy look to these i just love it like you can see where the thread was and where it was dyed over and so we sat and we did that to every single pair of sweats ourselves it took us days you can also see there's paint on these that is not printed my mom and i custom hand painted every single pair of sweats to have their own unique look they're all the same like color scheme but each pair is unique and I love it. It's so cool, it's so me. I just love everything about these. Obviously it's my brand, so a little biased, but I promise you, you've never worn a comfier sweatpant. I just, <laughs> I'm telling you. I love our little tags too. I had the idea to do a dog tag, so with each collection, we're gonna have a new custom dog tag and you could add this to your keychain, you could wear it on a necklace if you want. Um, I really love the collectible aspect of it because I don't know when I when I buy something from a brand and they have something like this that you can collect or use as something else and it's not just getting thrown out because tags let's face it they just get thrown in the trash I like this idea and our other tag that just says like what the item is looks like a dry cleaning tag which is really cool I put these stickers on and I hand stamped everything like down here it says the Sunday pant I just love how personal everything is that's something like with a brand when I'm working on it everything has to be me like it has to be personalized it has to have like you know my blood sweat and tears into it I don't want to just like put a logo on something and put it out there just for me personally I feel like I need to live and breathe whatever I'm putting out into the world, and that's what this is. There have been many sleepless nights from my mom and I over this brand, and we're so excited about it. I can't believe I'm like holding these up. I've been wearing these for like a year, so if you've seen me, <laughs> you've probably seen mostly just the top because I tried not to show the logo. A lot of you have asked like, what are those pants and i just have ignored you i'm so sorry about that <laughs> so these are the sunday pant and we decided to call them the sunday pant even though i wear them every day because sunday is just that day where like you're, you don't want to put on jeans you don't want to do anything you just want to wear something super cozy and that's what these are although i would say they're also a monday through saturday pant <laughs> if um it were up to me and it is actually up to me. Okay, our next piece is, I can't pick a favorite, but to be honest, this piece took the most work and <laughs> it started off very grim. So our next piece is the Monday tank. And the only reason we decided to call it Monday was because we called the pants Sunday pant. And we were like, well, you can wear this on a Sunday, but you can also wear this to work. So this is our tank top. 
Let me get this out of here. This is our little like vintage white tank top. It is super soft. It has a higher neck, so it's not gonna be showing too much boob. It's very modest, but it is a raw hem crop. You can see the raw hem across the bottom. We have our custom little tags in here with a secret message on the back and our little Arlo Mars symbol down here as well. I can't even begin to describe to you the pain this tank top has put me through because when we started off, I'll insert a picture of what we started off with because originally this, we were gonna launch this with a design on it and that is still hopefully coming. I'll show you a sneak peek at some point so you can decide if you think it's cool enough to launch. Originally it was gonna have a design, it was gonna have some applications on it and the first person that we went with to make the tank top, it was yellow. It was very bulky, it felt very cheap and not cheap in a way where it was, it was just made poorly is what I'm trying to say. Like that thing was gonna fall apart really quickly and it just didn't feel good. So with this one, we partnered with a different production team and we had a pattern made and so this is custom cut and sew right in Los Angeles and we had a lot of fun making this, getting the samples, sourcing the fabric and all of that. So, so this tank is completely custom, you can't get it anywhere but here and we're so proud of it. It is so cozy, It's I wear it all the time, you've seen me wear this already so many times like I do not when I say I live and breathe this brand it's all I wear I love this so much she is so cute it's gonna be your new favorite tank top like you will wear this every day I'm not saying that because I'm biased either like you will wear this every day we need it in every color I can't wait for you to get your hands on this to be honest like the tank top is next level Okay, the last and final piece of our first collection is something that was one of our original ideas. Sorry if you can hear Ozzy chewing in the background. He decided it's lunchtime. <laughs> Are you eating, Buck? Have some food? So this piece was something that we came up with in the very beginning stages, like first week talks of this brand. We were like, let's do this. And this was when the brand was going to be in a different direction. The vibe was a little bit different. I hadn't fully like figured out exactly what I wanted it to be. And this was a little over a year ago. So the next piece is a trucker hat. I was feeling very Y2K vibes in the beginning of all this. And the trucker hat I thought was so cute. So she went through, through many different iterations and colors. This is her. It says, kiss your friends and it is a gray trucker hat. I love it, I love that it says kiss your friends. It's kind of just a playful phrase on loving your friends and those who you surround yourself with, like kiss your friends, duh. Kiss your friends, love your friends, all that. A cool thing about the hat is it's actually coming with a pin pack that you can customize what you want your hat to say, so we have um, a star, just red. I really love primary color, so I did that. One says 1992. We have our Dice logos, washed up, burnt out pin. And let me show you what it looks like when it's all together. You do also get the dog tag with the hat as well. So this is my hat that I put together. I think it is so cutie. I love it. I love the idea of just throwing on a hat when you don't want to do your hair, or maybe your hair's already done, who cares, I just did my hair. Throw it on, keep the sun out of your face, go for your walk, go run your errands, go to Pilates, whatever you might be doing. So cute, I love it. I do want to mention that our tags are sewn in here upside down. You may be wondering, why did you do that? And I would have to tell you, we did not do that. We had a couple of hiccups, hundreds of hiccups with our first production company. And unfortunately, that's just what happens when you're in business. You kind of have to learn as you go. And we definitely learned as we went with this. So we started off at a production company who I've worked with before and had really like promising results with. But the more we worked on this, it just went 
down really fast so we had they were the ones who did our tank top too in the beginning and now then we switched to someone else completely we had an issue with the hats they printed them off center and things were just not looking good so then they redid them all and they sent them to us and the print is perfect now and then not even like it was like three or four days ago i got our pictures back that we had done and i noticed that the tag was upside down so then i went and checked and i was like <laughs> they're all upside down and we're just gonna have to pretend that that's how it was meant to be so just know if you pick one of these up you're part of the only people in the world who will have the upside down printed hat because next time they won't be printed upside down kind of a cool thing maybe years from now if, if arlo mars really takes off in the world you'll be able to sell this for a million dollars you never know okay so that is our all right so that is our first collection i can't believe it is coming tomorrow the whole thing together like if you wear it all is like one outfit it is so cute i hope you've been to the website or the instagram and have seen like all the promo we did for it the shoot almost killed me to be honest i worked way too hard on it and i uh, got very sick afterwards but I hope you were able to check it out because you can see how you can style the tank top differently, the sweatpants, and things like that. You don't have to buy it all as one outfit, but it does go together very nicely. The next thing I want to talk about is our size range. So this is something that was really important to me from the very beginning was the size range because something I've noticed since gaining weight, I've been very open about I've gained like 30 pounds over the last two years. And I've always been a very small person usually. My size is usually small or medium and I can always find my size somewhere that I go. Since I've gained weight, I've had trouble finding my size, which is insane to me because people still look at me and think that I'm a small person and I am, but it's crazy to me that even sometimes I can't find my size now that I've gained weight. And to me, that is just so messed up. Obviously, I knew it was a problem before I gained weight, but when you experience something firsthand, and I'm not experiencing it as much as other people who are larger sizes than me, but I'm just trying to explain that I knew it was a problem and it was something that was really important to me when making this brand because it's so uncool of a brand to put out a collection that only fits super skinny people. Obviously, super skinny people need clothing to wear, but that's not the point. Everyone should feel included. It should be inclusive. It should be for everybody and made for everybody. So that was something that was super important to us when creating this line. So as of right now, and this is our first collection, I know that we'll be able to expand in the future. But our size range as of right now on our launch date, what we have in stock is going to be extra small to 5X. So I'm hoping that you can find your size. I know that there's still room to grow in that. We can go smaller, we can go bigger, but this is our first launch. Creating a range that is size inclusive is expensive, but to me it was worth it and something that was super important, part of my values, everything. So um, I'm hoping that we can expand in the future. If I don't have your size, I'd love to hear from you. Like, if you're hoping to purchase from Arlo Mars and you don't fit in that extra small to 5X, I'd love to know. That way, if we have feedback, I can you know take that back to our production team and in the future have different sizes. We really want this brand to be something that is very uh, collaborative. So having feedback is super important to our approach to this brand and we just really want to create what other people want to wear. The vibe of this brand is like, you can sit with us vibes, you know what I mean? Like everyone's included. This brand is for everyone. These are the clothes that I want to be buying. I can't wait to share like future collections. This collection kind of started off as something way different and then we scaled it back a little bit and we were like, let's launch a little more carefully out the gate. And we went with what we had, which I'm obsessed with but the like I've I've been obsessed with this for a year already I'm obsessed with the things that we're working on right now and I can't wait to share more of that later this year I just hope you love it that's what I'm trying to say I can't believe it's launching I I'm sure there's so many questions I'll try and do a Q&A I know a lot of people want to know about the name Arlo Mars what does it mean like what's the meaning behind it and you know, a lot of times people launch a brand and their name has some like big crazy meaning and for us it doesn't. <laughs> it did turn out that Arlo Mars is the same as my initials, Ashley Michelle, so we got an A-M. 
um, which is cool, but that wasn't planned. I knew when I first started working on this that I wanted the name to be something that aged well. I didn't want it to be something that would get old to me. I looked at other brands for inspiration, like what do other brands do? And a lot of the brands that I was looking to for inspiration were just someone's name. I didn't want to use my name, like I didn't want a clothing line called Ash Levi. I don't feel like my name is, like I don't exude fashion to a lot of people online. I've been known as like a makeup girly and that's fine, but I also love fashion and I don't share a lot of that online. So anyways, I didn't want it to be my name. And then I was thinking like, I want this brand to be such a cool place for people. Like I want it to build a community. I want to do really cool things to give back. I just want it to be like cool. Like cool is the word that kept coming up. Cool is subjective. I mean, some people think some things are cool that other people don't, but I just wanted you to like see a person wearing Arlo Mars and be like, who is she? Like she's cool that's a cool girl because <laughs> of her outfit but not just her outfit she exudes positivity mystery she's just cool like you know when you see someone out and you're like they're cool i want to be their friend that's arlo mars and so how we came up with the name is i was like i want it to sound like a comic book character or a superhero or something like that like who is she I wrote out a ton of different names and Arlo Mars is the one that stuck I sent it to a bunch of friends I had like a list of names and I love a lot of the other names on there I like need to find a way to use them somehow I sent it to all my friends and was like which name on here sticks out to you every single one of them picked Arlo Mars and my mom and I had already decided on it before it just felt really cool and validating that everyone else that I showed the list to was like it's Arlo Mars like that's what it is so that's the story of our name I hope that you'll check it out I've worked so hard on it my mom has worked so hard on this and I really want to show more of like what goes into creating a brand like this a lot of people that create brands don't share like what it actually takes and what's like my phone's ringing somewhere hold on i don't remember what i'm saying so um i think i've covered everything we are doing worldwide shipping we should be able to ship everywhere we're working on getting like after pay and things like that pricing is going to be mid mid-range pricing i would say because we made everything in la we did things very ethically and made sure that like our production team is you know paid a livable wage and like no sweatshops obviously or anything like that and we made it in los angeles it's not easy it's not cheap a lot of times brands are able to manufacture overseas and that keeps prices like very low for them and nicholas what are you huffing and puffing about but yeah, if you can manufacture overseas, that's great, but we didn't do that this time and we haven't even looked into that as an option as of right now. We are very happy with our crew that we've <laughs> created. We love being able to go in and see everything. That's just a little bit of background on the price. If you're able to shop um, fast fashion and things like that and the prices are super low, it's coming at a cost somewhere and that's something that I've learned a lot along the way of creating this brand is that if a brand is able to charge ten dollars for a top like that's it's it's costing someone something so i'm not going to get into all that right now you can look it up if you want obviously fast fashion is something that a lot of people need because of the society that we live in and i'm very very aware of that so i'm not here to tell you what to do or you know I'm just here to provide knowledge that I've come across. Anyway, I think that's it. If I've left anything out because I'm so scatterbrained, ask me in the comments. I'll be reading them all tomorrow before launch. We're launching Thursday, October 6th. Yeah, October 6th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ah, I can't believe it. Go get yourself one of these hats. Okay, anyways, I've got to go. Bye.